In this video, we're going to show you how to fit a powerful 4x4 dual spare wheel carrier to an 80 series Land Cruiser. This particular 80 series Land Cruiser, which you will see featured in this video, is a turbo diesel import, which involves some extra cutting to the bar. Though, if you do not have an 80 series import, you can still use this video for fitting tips and techniques, but just ignore where we apply modifications to the bar. Now, in step one, you need to remove the factory bumper. Now, if you have an 80 series, which is an import, you need to also remove the tow bar for some modifications. So for those who have an imported version of the 80 series, once you've removed the tow bar, you'll find two secure points which are welded onto the tow bar. These will need to be removed. These secure points were only made to add strength to the factory bumper. So don't fear of having any loss of strength to the tow bar once these have been removed. So in step 3, with those with an imported version of this 80 series, all you need to do then is just simply reapply the tow bar back to the factory chassis. Step 4 applies once again to imports only. You will find two support brackets found on the rear end of the chassis. And these support brackets will need to be removed to make way for the rear bar for it to be bolted on. So step 5 applies to everyone, including local cars. What you'll need to do now is simply bolt on the rear bar to the existing points of the chassis. When applying the rear bar, please refer to the fitting instructions for more information. Another important note is when securing the rear bar, do not tighten everything straight away. Leave a little room for adjusting. So in this section of the video, we're going to instruct you how to put together the arms onto the bar. Now the video you'll see is actually of a uh, Nissan Patrol, though the same instructions apply to any other vehicle, including the 80 series. Two big washers, two small washers, also two small wheel bearings and two big wheel bearings. I'll show you how they go on in a sec. Okay, what I'm doing here is repacking the bearing with grease. Okay, what we're going to do now is the small one, we just do the same as what we did with the big wheel bearing. Before we put it on, just make sure you fill up with grease inside of it. And after that we put the small washer and then your nut. What you do here is you fully tighten it till it's locked and then you back it off two turns. Just make sure there's no play and then fit your split pin. Okay, next step is to put the split pin in. Obviously it won't go in straight like that, so what you gotta do is you just gotta bend it, like so. And then just tap it in. Okay, 